Red Shark News at IBC 2017, brought to you by Panasonic, offering connected systems and solutions for broadcast and pro AV. NewTek, the world's first full end-to-end -end IP solution. Zeiss Camera Lenses, always delivering the best quality to make your project stand out. Black Magic Design, amazing solutions for film, post-production, and television. I am here at the Avid booth with Jeff. Thank you for joining me. Thank you, it's good to be here. It's electrifying, so what's new? Well, thanks, yeah, a lot going on here. So it's been a great IBC so far, so we're really excited about all the energy and the attendance at the show. We feel a lot of positive around the show. But uh, yeah, we've got a lot of new, here, new things here. Cloud's a big part of what we're doing. Cloud is helping us really innovate workflows and to help creative, everything from creative people all the way to the biggest broadcasters do things more efficiently, more effectively, and bring new capabilities to what they're doing. What does that mean for, the, for your customers? Well, I'll give you some examples on that. So look at like on the creative side. You know, a couple of years ago, we launched something called Cloud Collaborate, and that's not a, where you know, two people that are using Pro Tools can actually work together. You, know, you could be in London, I could be in Los Angeles, and the two of us could work together on a song using the cloud to do that. That power, as you'll see in more and more products now, is helping us create ways that people can collaborate and create content more, more powerfully than they ever could. That's awesome. I mean, the great thing about Avid is it's always been about collaboration. It's always been about yes. strong, reliable editors getting together and able to share projects seamlessly. One of the things that really caught my attention last year and this year is the announcement of uh, Avid Media Composer first. Yes. Um, how has that been? It's been great. The reception has been terrific, much better than we ever thought it would be. So Media Composer first was actually announced in April, and uh, we give a preview about it, it was a little over a year ago, um, but it was announced the final product in April, and we started downloads the end of June, and we've already surpassed 60,000 people in just the first few weeks. So it's hard even keeping up with the demand. Here at the show, we've already signed up several thousand people on the product, so it's been a terrific response. Whether you're someone starting out your career in university and, and you know want to learn Avid tools, for your career, or whether you're a YouTuber or somebody that you know wants to use it for social, it's a real cost-effective tool. It's free. That's the big part, the free part. You know, yes. uh, when I was through university myself, often I had to go to the university campus because they would have an Avid set up. That's all like expensive licensing, and rightfully so. Avid Media Composer f uh, first really opens up elite-level software to the little guy. Yeah, sure and is. you know, they, I know so many students back at home who are like taking this to their dorms working it there and then bringing that project into the other, the larger Avid suite, which yes. is another point to make that this is completely compatible across your product line. It is, it's actually the same basic product, so there's not like a difference in the product. We've obviously changed the capabilities of the first product, but they're using the same tool and they're learning the same tool that the top you know, editors, whether they're in broadcast or film or wherever, and so I think that's a real advantage for people to learn that in their career and give them the chance. Like you said, it's all about collaboration, but if we don't help the community collaborate and to learn in the start how to do how to do this? We're, you know, we're not helping the industry. It's also introducing the new generation of editors. Of course, you know, yes. um, they're coming through the ranks, and Avid being a play, having a product out there that's free puts itself steadily in that position to then keep its uh, presence in the industry. Yes. So what's next for Avid? Uh, you guys are like pushing so many ways at the moment. You know, you've got the cloud, you've got you know the free media composer. What's next in the future? Well, I, just keeping up with the needs of the industry. I mean, the first, you know, the first priority for Avid is how do we help solve problems that creative professionals and media enterprises have to solve? And so our real focus is how do we do that? Doesn't matter whether it's you know first for entry level or whether you've got you know looking for immersive graphics because you're looking for more virtual reality on set or whether you're looking to deal with Dolby Atmos, which is an exciting new standard for audio. Now it's cloud. I mean, a big part of what we're doing is cloud. And you know, cloud is, is about efficiency and about you know, be able to be more flexible. But for us, cloud is about creating new workflows and new opportunities and new ways to get to make media. Media is changing fast. It's not just about BBC anymore. You know, BBC is still there and important, but but it's about so many other ways to communicate using media. And so we're just trying to help the industry with you know solving their creative and technical and operating problems. Such a fast moving industry and so yes. many platforms coming through the ranks, it's, it's, it's crazy. It's like a digital vortex and this industry yes. is at the center of it. 
just get sucked in. You, yeah, you know. Uh, so for our viewers back home, if you yeah. were to summarise, who don't, who are not familiar with Avid and what it has yes. to offer, if you to summarise what Avid does in a nutshell. Uh, yeah, it's simple. Avid is a company that creates the tools and the workflow solutions that people need to create and distribute great content. Whether they're an indiv individual creative professional or whether they're the biggest media enterprise like BBC or ITV, our job is to help them basically create that content and distribute it to as many people as they can. Awesome, and if you want to find more information where we can find this? Ah, uh, you just go to avid.com, A-V-I-D.com. Thank you very much, Jeff, really Thanks. appreciate it. Appreciate it. Well, that is it from Avid at the IBC booth. We hope you enjoyed this video. If you want more information, please hop over to redshotnews.com and we'll see you next time.